Hey guys, Grant Clayton here, 1% List. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you where to find a listing presentation and also to pitch you to list your house as if I was an agent pitching you to list your house um, like, I was, like I was trying to get your listing. Um, our listing presentation is phenomenal. It just, it just wins. Every single time it just wins because it's based on truth it's based on honesty and it's based off of, of just letting letting your client know how the modern real estate industry works. And and it feels so good to deliver it. It feels better than the typical hour long PowerPoint presentation of fluff and and BS and all that stuff. It's just clear and simple and to the point. And and most importantly, your client's going to feel like you're 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 a trusted advisor as opposed to a salesperson delivering this listing presentation. So first let's look at where to find it. Um, go to tackle box and click on print. And once you click on print, um, you'll see your off, you'll see all the agents at the office, but also you can just click on the generic one. If you want, that's the one I'm going to use for this one, go to listing packet. And then right down here at the bottom is the actual listing packet that the listing presentation that we use. So once again, I'm going to pitch you as if I would like to list your house. So here we go. There are only six ways that houses sell. And unlike a lot of agents who would give you this big, huge sales pitch, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I'm going to show you the six ways that your house can sell and the odds of selling your house by each one of those six ways. So let's go through the entire process. The first thing that any agent is going to do is put a sign in the ground. Statistically, this gives you about a 7% chance of creating a sale, generating a sale. This means somebody drives by and sees the sign or a neighbor looks out the window and sees the sign and they know a friend who's wanting to buy in the area. That's about 7% of all sales. Now then, once professional photography is done, once you go and, and get all the paperwork done, now you're going to go into the MLS. The MLS is where agents go to search for houses for their clients, but it's important to understand that only one out of three, only 33% of homes are found through an agent on the MLS. The majority of all sales comes from the internet data exchange. And, and this is realtor.com, Zillow, homes.com, Trulia, but it's also kellerwilliams.com, it's remax.com, it's every .com in the world, taking a copy of the data that's on the MLS and pasting it on their website. This is hundreds of thousands of sites, and this is where the modern consumer goes to shop. And so combined, this is 84% of all sales that, to be honest, a, a real estate agent can't influence. Um, our sign says for sale on it, just like everyone else's. We don't get any preferential treatment by any of these websites. Legally, we're not allowed to. And so 84% of all sales now comes from just these three sources and no agent can really influence these three sources. These just are what they are. So now let's get to where an agent can excel. Let's get to an, where an agent can do better than their peers. 14% is social networking, social marketing. Um, you want to hire an agent who's very good at, at marketing things on social media. That's a big focus of our companies. We actually have graphic designers that are on staff with us making social media content. This is a key part of what we do. And this is the biggest area where an agent can differentiate themselves. The remaining 2% of all sales comes from open houses, broker tours, and print media combined. A lot of people might find this shocking, but if you think about it, we had the greatest seller's market ever during COVID-19. And yet open houses and broker tours were basically banned. And I guarantee you, if you look at your spouse right now and say, honey, we have to move today, they're not going to look back at you and say, oh my gosh, quick, drive to a coffee shop and pick up a newspaper and a real estate magazine. Like it just doesn't work. Okay. That's, that's not where, where people are shopping now. Nowadays, people are going straight online and, and the next study bears this out. This is actually a study done by the National Association of Realtors. You can Google it. It's called real estate in the digital age. And what it found is over 99% of millennials and generation X shop online for real estate and over 97% of baby boomers shop online for real estate. Virtually everyone who is moving today is going online to figure out where they want to live. Okay, so uh, this page is currently getting updated to our, our new franchise totals and, and the number of franchises opened. But on this page, we like to show them how much money they are going to save. And so let's say you have it in your head that the house is roughly $500,000. Then you put here total commission 6% for the agents that are asking for 6%. That would go on the right. 
Um, then on the other side, you're going to put how much we're going to, or on the left would be the 6% on the right is what we're looking at, at charging them. In some markets, this might be 3.5 total. In some markets, it might be three total. In some markets, it might be four. Depending on what you're typically seeing on a buyer's agent, understanding that a buyer's agent fee is not required, but kind of what's the average. And then you put their total savings right here on that bottom line. Now then, let's get to the last page. And this page is incredibly important. These are the three factors that drive traffic to your listing. Number one is price. This is the most important factor. But number two, and this is coupled with price, is amenities, condition, and location. And here's the thing. If you got a great house and a great location, and you got a pool or you got whatever, it's just incredibly desirable. Guess what? You don't need to pay 6% to sell your house. Everyone is going to go online, see your house, and, and they're going to want to see it. But if you got a house that might be in an area that people are not wanting to move to, or, or it might need a little bit of TLC, or, or it, you know, it needs something to help itself. Paying an agent a huge commission is not going to make your house more desirable. It's going to make it harder to price your home. It's going to make it harder to negotiate. And so here's the thing. We're here to help you keep equity in your pocket. But worst case scenario, you can use our savings as a tool to get your house sold. You can, you can take the money that we're saving versus you paying 6% and you can have an interest rate reduction. Uh, you, you, like a two for one buy down on interest rates for, for a, a buyer. You can offer to pay closing costs. You can offer a renovation allowance. You could offer uh, AC replacement or roof replacement if, that's, if those are on their last legs. Heck, if, if you interview other agents, and I love this line, if you are interviewing a, other agents and you think 6% makes sense, you are welcome to pay me 1% and pay the buyer's agent 5%. They will line up down the block to sell your house. This is what DR Horton does to sell homes. They offer huge agent bonuses. So the point is, is that in a perfect world, they're keeping more money. In an imperfect world, they're using our savings as a tool to get their home sold. We then talk to them about the Showing Time mobile app. If you don't use Showing Time, you absolutely should. It streamlines your life. It makes it a lot easier. It makes it to where your clients can review and accept all showings. Your clients will automatically see y'all feedback and everything else. Showing Time will make it to where you can manage, go from managing five or six listings to 50 or 60. I mean, it is that important. And finally, this is the most important line, arguably, of the whole thing is communication. <clears throat> I tell them quite simply, you're not hiring your best friend right now. There's a lot of agents that, you know, they want you to feel like you have to use them because they, they've made, managed to make you feel like you're their best friend. But that's not why you should hire me. You should hire me because I'm affordable, but most important, I'm professional and I'm incredibly good at what I do. So just like your CPA, your dentist, your doctor, your whatever, whoever you use, they don't call you every day and, and tell you that their coffee is great. They, they're not trying to be your best friend. They're providing you a very professional service that you see value in. And that's why you should hire me today. OK, I am very good at what I do. I do a lot of transactions. I know the market. And most importantly, I'm affordable. OK, I'm going to allow you to keep more equity in your pocket. And I'll be honest with you, people, when they hear that, a lot of them, they look at you like they want to hug you because they feel like they've been handled continually by real estate agents and PowerPoint presentations and fluff pieces and all this stuff. You can deliver this listing presentation in eight minutes or less than 10, even if you're a talker. But they will walk out of this thinking, OK, I am hiring somebody that is good at what they're what they do. They're affordable and they're going to take care of me just like they have countless other families because they do a lot of deals. I cannot oversell the importance of this. I also cannot oversell the importance of actually delivering this listing presentation to everyone. Over time, you will create a following that will convince their friends not to pay a huge commission because they have heard this listing presentation from you. They have seen this listing presentation. They understand how real estate works now. The, the wool has been pulled from their eyes and now they can see things for how they really are. That's the point of this listing presentation and it works like a charm, but you got to deliver it, practice it, uh, take a look at this video, do it your way. You don't have to do it my way, but make sure you do it because it's incredibly important. Thank you. Have a great day.